Hey folks, Dave back here with another review here on the channel. I'm going to talk about this new Vizio 2.1 soundbar system that I picked up uh, a couple of weeks ago at Best Buy, and I want to talk about that here on the channel today. Um, so here it is over here. I spent uh, $179.99 on it. I picked it up on the uh, the tax-free weekend that we had up here. And uh, so let's get into it, shall we? Um, first things first, though, um, I'm not going to have any sound examples here because I watched enough YouTube soundbar videos to realize you really can't tell. Everything kind of sounds the same with some of these soundbars unless you had a real professional set up to record it so i'm not going to have any samples for you here uh, but i am going to talk about uh, how it sounds and what i think about this particular system okay so uh let's see so why did i buy this one here uh a couple things here i wanted um a, just a better sound that came with a tv now we had a 50 inch panasonic plasma tv for years and the sound was it was decent on that one. We didn't need anything with that. Uh, mo mostly for TV watching and some YouTube streaming. That's what we use it for. So for that, it was fine. Uh, we didn't really watch any heavy-duty movies on it. We have a, a TV downstairs that has a decent setup for that. But upstairs, it was fine for TV and stuff uh, for, for the wife. She likes that kind of stuff there. Um, but when we bought this new Sony 4K TV, it was really thin, and the sound was really thin and really tinny. And I, we didn't care for the sound, so it's okay. We're gonna need a soundbar. So I just wanted something that was better than the TV uh, speakers because that was awful. Uh, and I just wanted something that was fuller too. So I knew I wanted to have a, a, a bar with the subwoofer on it. So I definitely wanted to have the subwoofer. But I just wanted a simple bar and a subwoofer. I didn't want to have all the speakers uh, in, in the room because uh, one part of the room is wall and the other part is open into other parts of the house. So it, it really wouldn't make sense to try to set up anything surround sound like that. And that would just been more complicated. I wanted, I really did want simple. Okay. Um, so that's the other reason I bought this one. I just wanted bar and subwoofer. Also, I needed to have some EQ options with this, especially to push the dialogue forward, because it just seems like the dialogue gets lost. And I'll talk about that more as we do this uh, video. So I definitely needed something with an EQ so I could push either the treble up or the mid or the, or the dialogue forward so we can hear what they're saying. Because it's how many times have you sitting there? It's like, what they say? And you turn it up, and then all of a sudden the music kicks in or an explosion kicks in, and it you get boomed and you're like, oh, and then you got to turn it down and then you can't hear the dialogue again. So I wanted some kind of EQ to push the dialogue forward, which this has as well. Uh, I also wanted to make sure that I could control it with my TV remote, you know. So I didn't want to have to always be pulling out the remote for the sound, but I want to just, you know, to change. If I'm watching TV, I want to change channel with one remote and change the volume with that same remote. And you can do that with the ARC uh input on this or output on this with the HDMI. And I'll talk about that uh, in key features as well. And lastly, I didn't want to break the bank. I didn't want to be spending three or $400 on this. This is something we just kind of watch TV with. And again, we have a, um, a TV uh, downstairs that has some booming video, I mean, booming audio if I really, really wanted to. So just to kind of wrap up, I wanted better sound than the TV. I wanted an easy setup. I wanted just a simple bar with the sub. I needed an EQ with that dialogue option, and I wanted the TV to control the volume of the of the soundbar, and and I didn't want to break the bank, and I think that's what I I kind of got here with this one right here. All right, so let's talk about the key features, and when I do that, um, I want to show you some of the pictures here. Again, I'm going to go to the Best Buy site, and we're going to show some of the images here. And uh, first things first, it does come in this funky box. Okay, this this. Uh, box it looks like it's a guitar case <laughs> it's really funky when when the guy brought it out, i was like well <laughs> am i getting a guitar <laughs> but uh, that's how they uh they package it up with, the, with the, the thin sound bar and then the subwoofer in this and it's easy to carry and it's not that heavy so, so you will get this crazy little thing here uh the uh the sound bar itself it's 36 inches wide it's only a few inches high so it sits below my tv so it's not in the way of of anything it doesn't block the uh the, any of the remote control features it doesn't block the screen it sits below that so it's, it's really nice 36 inches wide so it's not too wide and it, it fits in there really nice uh the subwoofer is a wireless subwoofer and all i did over here with this i just plugged it into the wall and turned it on and then i turned on the subwoofer and bam like that it it it, it set up all on its own i didn't have to do a darn thing with this at all uh, and uh, fired up. So the other thing was, it, it sounds great. It did. I turned it on, and the first thing is, wow, this this right out of the box, it sounded really good. It was really full. The subwoofer uh, worked really nice as I put that behind me behind the couch. Uh, so I was pretty impressed out of the gate 
with how it sounded. Now, again, this um, thing here, the ARC, so this goes out to the TVs. It's an HDMI, and I believe I did come with a cable for this, for the HDMI. Now, it does have an optical uh, input as well, as well as a few other things. Um, but I, I re highly recommend the ARC. The only thing uh, that's a problem with this is it does go into an HDMI out on your TV. So you lose an HDMI input on your TV to hook it up this way. So I my TV, I think, had four HDMIs and one of them was ARC. So I lose uh, one of the four. So now I only have three HDMI inputs on the TV. Keep that in mind when you're hooking up a soundbar with ARC that it is HDMI and it will take up a port. So if you have a, a, a TV with only two or three HDMI uh, uh, ports and one of them's ARC, now you're going to lose one. So I made sure I got a TV that had four. So now I'm down to three, which it, which is which is fine for me. We can work with that. Uh, but it does work fantastic for controlling the audio. So now I could just like, I could change the channel on the TV with the remote and the same remote controls of the volume. So I really, really do like that. Um, what else is there? Oh, this thing has got a, uh, what's called true volume uh, on the remote here. And it's, it's one of the uh, effects, I believe it is. And what true volume does, it acts like a compressor. So when you're watching TV and, and boy, I tell you, I didn't really notice it till I started uh, playing around with the, the subwoofer here in, in the, the sound bar, I didn't realize how loud that some of these explosions and things happen, even in the TV series, because you'll be, we'll be watching it and be like, people be talking, people be talking all of a sudden, boom, a grenade goes off or a gun goes off. It's like, holy crap. So then you're turning it back down because it was so loud. And then they go to talking and you, and you can't hear them. So you put on this true volume compressor and what this does is it again it, it just scrunches the sound so when people are talking you can hear them but then when the gun goes off or the explosion goes off it's more of a boom rather than a boom okay so it, it keeps that volume in check and, and boy the wife and the dog love that because when it gets really loud the dog freaks out and the wife's like oh that's too loud for me so having this true volume feature i turn that on and that's really nice it acts like a compressor it keeps everything nice and tight so you're not going to get those really crazy uh, explosions and even with the music too when the music gets really loud or there's some kind of a sound effect going on it doesn't blow away the dialogue it really kind of keeps it in tight so when i'm watching tv with her i put the true volume on when i'm alone and i want to you know get that sound going maybe i'm watching a movie uh, by myself I'll, I'll turn it off so i can get the full range uh, it is noticeable though and i've gone back and rewound a couple of scenes so when a guy shooting a gun it when it's compressed it, it it's do, 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 rather than boom, boom, boom. So it's it's very noticeable. But it, it, if you just listen for, if you just want to hear the the dialogue mostly in, in a show or a movie, it does a nice job of tightening that up. So I really do like the true volume thing there. Um, again, I talked about the TV remote works well with the HDMI through the ARC, uh, and this has some options here on the remote here. Now let me show you this remote here real quick. Um, what, let me come back to the, the bigger picture here. Uh, you see on the front, it's got, it's got that little window here. Okay. Uh, what's kind of neat is when you start pressing buttons, you'll see the options come up here. So if you select EQ, it'll say EQ and it'll tell you what it's in. If you hit level, it'll tell you what it's in. You just scroll up and down here with the up and down buttons to figure out, you know, which, um, wh whatever feature you want. Okay. So let's just say that, um, you know, the EQ features, which is nice. So if I hit the, uh, the EQ button, I have four settings. Okay. I have movie music, dialogue, and game. And that's the reason I bought it, you know, the dialogue feature. So I mostly put it on dialogue. It really pushes the dialogue forward. Otherwise, the dialogue gets lost. It's amazing. If you put on movie mode or if you put on um, uh, music mode, how the, the the dialogue, when people talk, it, it does. It gets lost. It really does. So I we like to keep it on dialogue mode so we can hear what they're saying. So it's got the EQ mode for that. It's got the level mode on here as well. And what I like about the level mode is what that will do is it has levels for your treble, your bass, and your subwoofer. So again, the dog doesn't like all the noise. So I turn the subwoofer down a little bit. So it, it gives us some fullness behind us, but it's not rattling around. And again, I can, if, I, if I'm home alone, I can go and control that as well. I can say, no, I want to put that up so I can control it. So I like that you had treble, bass, and subwoofer, uh, all different uh, levels for that. And also what's kind of neat, I think it's under the, uh, um, the levels as well. It's got this thing called AV delay. And what AV delay does, you can go up or down. It, it, it helps sync the audio to the video. 
And and how many times that you know have you been watching something and it's just like it looks like a Godzilla movie, you know, the, the lips are moving, but it's not synced with the audio. So this you can you can there's a little fluctuation there with this, so you can play around with it and you can say, Hey, I want it to, to delay a little bit, and and I played around with that and I get it to sync up pretty well with different things that I watch on the TV. So the A B delay to sync the, the the audio to the video is really cool, especially when you uh, it's key, I should say, especially when you're trying to um you know watch a movie or, or get a, a TV show and you see the lips moving. There's not the worst when the lips don't sync up. It's, it just bugs me. I don't know it's me. That's my thing. It really bugs me. Uh, also, this has a, a Bluetooth feature, which I haven't tried yet. But uh, from what it sounds like is that, you know, you can uh, pair it up Bluetooth and just play music through it. So you can just bypass the TV and just play some music through it as well. Now, I haven't used that, um, but that is an option as well. So th those are some of the key features here of this unit. Uh, let me give you some final thoughts on this. For the price, um, I'm pretty impressed with it. I really am. Uh, 179 at Best Buy is what I paid for it. I'm very happy with it. Um, the price is great. It does everything I want to do. Again, I ran through all the, the the why I bought it and the key features, and it checks all the boxes I want. I'm not a big audio geek anymore. I mean, I used to be back in the day. Now I just want a better sound, and the wife's not too concerned about it. So we didn't need to spend hundreds of dollars on something. I just wanted something simple like I talked about. This fits the bill very, very nicely. Uh, the only issue I had <laughs> was with the remote. I couldn't get it open. I I didn't want to break it and I could, this thing would not open for me. So I had to get an exacto knife and go in here and pry that open to get the batteries in. That was the only issue I had. I, I just couldn't get that back of the remote to slide off and I didn't want to break it. Uh, so that was the only problem I had. The rest of it was easy. Again, plug in a subwoofer, turn it on, plug in a samba, turn it on, it syncs up. I, I use the HDMI into the TV. And that was that it was done. It was just that simple. Uh, and lastly, um, on final thoughts, the the bar itself, just the sound bar itself, it is way deeper than I was expecting. I mean, I thought all the bass would be coming from the back and the subwoofer. You can hear the bass coming from the front as well as the back. I was pretty impressed. I mean, because this thing is thin. It's really not that big at all. It's like a sandwich, you know. <laughs> and uh, it's 36 inches long, but it's really thin, and it's not that deep either. It's, it's, it's like a deck of cards, maybe, a deep. And I'm like, wow, how can it produce this amount of bass? But it does. It's very noticeable how bassy it is. Now, again, it's not a Bose system or anything like that. But I'm, I'm sitting there listening. It's like, wow, I'm hearing a lot of bass and rumble coming from those uh, speakers on the soundbar. That, that, was, that was very impressive. So I got to say, uh, yeah, uh, that was kind of cool. So those are my final thoughts there. But anyway, so, so that is my... Uh, Review here the Vizio 2.1 soundbar system. It's a soundbar with a wireless subwoofer. I've had a great experience with it so far. I've only had it a couple of weeks, but it, it's enhanced my TV sound. There are plenty of options on here. Again, I'm I'm always taking the remote and it's all the you know the wife's away. I'm gonna turn it up and crank it up and you know oh she's home. I gotta put the compressor on and, and tighten it up a little bit and, and turn the subwoofer down. So again, it really fits a a, a lot of different um needs here for me. So um I'm I'm enjoying it. Highly recommend it. One seventy nine ninety nine at Best Buy, and um, that's that. So hey, I'm Dave. I hope you enjoyed this review here. Uh, I'm gonna go back and watch some TV and put my soundbar on. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.